What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you the best tweaks of the week. Now this is actually the first episode of Best Tweaks of the Week for 2015, so I'm really happy and excited that you guys enjoy these videos enough for me to be doing this. I think it's been, I didn't check before this video, but probably six or seven months that I've been doing this uh, pretty much every single week. So I'm really excited to continue this series throughout 2015, so as long as you guys enjoy these videos. I'll continue to make them. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the first tweak that I wanna to talk to you guys about is a free tweak and it's called Double Tap to Sleep. Now this is a very simple tweak. All it does is allow you to double tap on the springboard to put your device to sleep. That's really all that it does. And I just think it's actually a pretty cool little feature. And this is something that's native to, I believe, Android devices, but still a cool feature to have on your device. So if you wanna check it out, you can download it in Cydia for free. All right, so next up we have a tweet called MSG Autosave 8. Now what this tweet does is basically allow someone to send you a photo or video in your messages app, and then it's going to automatically save that photo or video to your camera roll. So if I receive a photo real quick, you'll see I'll get a notification right up here at the top on my messages app, and then that means I've received the photo, and then we'll go ahead and open it up and show you that it is, obviously I've done this a couple of times, I have three right here, so if I go into photos, you'll see that I have three photos right here as well. So it's going to automatically save that photo or video right there into your camera roll. Now if we go into the settings here, I'm just gonna do a quick rundown of what you have uh, for this tweak. So if we open up the settings panel, you obviously have a kill switch. You can also toggle on confirm before saving. So it's gonna ask you if you want to actually save this into your camera roll. You can resize the images or resize the videos. I have do not resize on both of them. You can see right here, you can go all the way down to 5% up to 95%, as well as the same thing on videos. You can do low, medium, or high quality. And then right down here, you can also save original media on error. So if you have any issues, it's going to save the original media rather than you know saving that lower quality uh, photo or video. And next up, we have a tweak called Confero. Now this tweak I actually covered separately in a separate video, so if you guys wanna see a full review of that, then I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to just click on and you can watch the entire thing. On this video, I'm just gonna do a quick rundown of what it does. So basically, you can see that I have notifications here on these uh, applications. So if I tap on this little status bar indicator right here, it's actually going to open up a folder that's going to allow me to see my notifications or my apps that have notifications. So you can see right here that you can actually password protect it if you wanna do that. So I just have it set up to unlock with Touch ID, which works just fine. And you can see all of my applications that have notifications. And that's basically what this does. You can change up the theming a little bit. You can change up how many applications are in the folder uh, per page. You can turn off paging if you want to. It's just a really cool tweak, and I highly recommend checking out the video in the description below to get a full review of this tweak. Next up, we have a tweak called Searchlight. So what Searchlight does is allow you to add certain things to your spotlight. So let's go into the settings before we actually uh, get into this. And let's go over to Searchlight. We'll go ahead and open that up. And then you can see you can obviously set an activation method if you wanna do that. You can change the appearance and behavior. If we open this up, you can change the style, which you can see right here, it's adaptive light, or you can change it to light, dark, or just a blur. And if we go back here, you can also resize the header, which doesn't give you a ton of options, just a toggle as well as force rotation and logging if you wanna toggle those on or off. Now right down here, this is where you're going to include or exclude certain categories into your spotlight. So you have your favorites, which you can obviously add your favorite applications. You have recents, which is going to show you the last three recent applications, which you can change to either one app or five apps. And then right down here, you also have do not include application lists, just because this adds literally every single application on your device in your spotlight. Now you can see right here, if we go ahead and tap on favorites that I've added uh, six favorites right here, and you can change the name if you want to, and you can enable it right here. So just to add an application, you would just tap the plus and then tap on one of these in order to add it. Now, same thing goes for the recents. You can see that you can change the number from one, three, or five to show either the last five recent applications or the last one, and obviously you can change the name of it as well. Application list is literally just the entire application list. And then once you're done, you can just save or refresh, and that's going to just update it. You don't have to respring or anything like that. 
So let's go ahead and jump into the spotlight here and you can see that I have my favorites listed. So I have my six applications right here and then right down here I have my three recent applications. Again, if you just added the entire application list, it's gonna be listed right down here. It's gonna list every single one of them. Now, this is cool. One of the things I don't like is the uh, apps. You can see that they overlap one another, so that doesn't look very good. And you'll also notice if I start to type something in, let's just say I was going to type in Alien Blue, you can see that it's actually pretty slow. Now, I'm just gonna hold down the back button. You can see how slow it goes back. So it's very laggy, which is something that I just can't stand. So it's a cool idea, but it's not something I'm gonna use on my device unless the performance is fixed in a future update. Next up, of course, I do have to mention OXO 3 since it was released this past week. This is an awesome tweak. I highly recommend checking this out. And I did a complete full in-depth review of this in a separate video as well. So if you wanna check that out, I'll put a link in the description below. I highly recommend watching that if you wanna get a full look at OXO 3. So I'll just give you a quick rundown of what OXO 3 has to offer. So basically what it does is allow you to swipe up right here. And it's going to give you not only the app switcher, but it's gonna give you the control center right down here as well. It's integrated right into the app switcher. Now we can swipe up right here as well, and it's going to give us our toggles that we have for you know the camera, calculator, and a flashlight down there. Now if we wanted to, we can swipe down on an application to bring it down. Let's swipe back up. You can swipe down on this application to bring it back down. It's basically very intuitive and it works really well, very smoothly. Now, if we go ahead and swipe up on the home screen, you'll notice that all the applications line up right there and I can close out of every application just with a single tap. Of course, there are some options in here that allow you to not you know, close out of now playing apps or anything like that. Now, if we tap on this, we'll bring it back down. Now, another cool thing about OXO 3 is it has hot corners. Basically, it allows you to swipe up from the bottom left as well as the bottom right-hand corner to do something. So you'll see right here, if I swipe up from the right, it's going to give us a quick switcher right here that you can scroll through your applications. Very helpful, very nice, and much more fluid than it was to begin with. Of course, we can always just open up an application, and then if we swipe up from the right, this is actually going to close the app and go directly back to the springboard and it has a nice little animation right there as well now again I did do a very in-depth review there's a lot of settings to go along with this tweak and I did an in-depth review of that and you can check that out in the description below so that's all I have for this week's jailbreak tweaks of the week let me know what you guys think about these tweaks in the comments below and of course if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button if you want to see more of my videos on everything jailbreak as well as everything Apple make sure you subscribe all right guys until next time peace